Yeah, I love it with technology. OBS didn't recognize my camera initially. Good evening, everybody that's jumped in. I know Vinny's up in here. Uh, thanks for connecting. Let's see. Vinny's saying, I'm very eager to start using it and pitching it to other vendors and wedding shows. So am I. Uh, I've, you know, this has been a labor of love for so long now. Um, you know, I think I originally put pen to paper, what was it, like the end of 2014. And, you know, things just uh, progressed out of that. So I've definitely been spreading the word, especially to photographers and videographers um, that I've been uh, working with this year, you know, reminding them that, hey, you know, you know this is coming out. would love to hear your input because, you know, beyond the DJs, it's everybody else within this industry, the photographers, videographers, caterers, vendors, uh, vendors, <laughs> venues, um, uh, caterers, florists, dressmakers. You know, there's a lot of uh, you know people who are all integrated uh, within these events that this could all uh, benefit from. So um, I'm going to wait a minute to see if we have uh, anybody really jump in. Um, unfortunately, because of Facebook yesterday, and we had to switch platforms. I did uh, decide to you know, delay it by a day because I figured with all the chaos that was going on, of course, Facebook came back up. Um, before the cancellation, uh, or said before the shift. So now, hopefully, I just don't lose uh, too many people uh, from today. So I'm gonna wait a minute uh, for more people uh, to jump in. I'm gonna do a couple uh, messages over Facebook as well to hopefully get a few more people uh, coming in. Um, Vinny, if you've got anything to add uh, through all this, um, you've been one of our. Uh, our greatest assets from a user feedback perspective that's for sure so love to hear anything else that you have in here let's see if anybody else is coming in from this original Like I said, as I said, I am actually just uh, reassuring people to come over here. And of course, yeah, they'll be able to catch this on playback as well, but it's always nice if they can join in. Perfect. Well, without further delay, we'll start to uh, roll over this, uh, see if people enter in. Naturally, if you have any questions during the process, please um, you know, join in with any commentary and whatnot. My throat has been sore, by the way, from uh, you know, DJing from the outside. I'm still, of course, doing outside weddings being here in the Hudson Valley. And it definitely takes its toll on the sinuses and whatnot. So that's you know, real fun and whatnot. So what do we have that we're looking at right now? Well, if you don't know, uh, Q uh, launched to the general public back in August. We actually have a number of features that you can, um, you know, utilize for free. Everything from having you know, notes and tasks, managing your events themselves and the stages of their events. They actually, there's a default contract in here, proposals, mileage, and all that. But naturally, this is just the jump off to the much more robust product, which is premium. Now, there has been some confusion over time that, you know, some people think there might be two separate products. That is not the case. 
with essentials, it is just a restricted view of the same content that's going into the system. So if you happen to jump up to premium, you know, you'll be able to just benefit from the data that you've been collecting all this time, getting those additional features like at, at the snap of a finger and vice versa. God forbid, if we ever run into a situation like COVID again, where, you know, the industry's hurting and whatnot, and, you know, we're trying to kind of make heads or tails of, you know, the finances that we have to crunch to survive and something like this, you can always downgrade Q to the free side until naturally things start to pick back up and then just, you know, jump back in. You know, there's a lot of, you know, different things that, um, you know, companies have tried uh, during this time, but a lot of them just didn't say, oh, hey, you know, just jump to a free version and whatnot. This is the, the, the benefit that I hope that somebody being in the industry, you know, I'm customer one into this platform that I see the pain points. That's definitely a pain point. You know, I lost 90% of my business uh, during 2020. And I know a lot of other uh, DJs, photographers, videographers took a big hit on that. So just be mindful again, that the access, the, the, the whole, you know, essentials versus premium is just simply access level within here. Benny asks, I'll say that where Q is heading, the current platform ION has the planning form, timelines, names, music picking in several, several different forms. Q will do it all in one form, and yes, it will. And this is exactly where we're going to jump in. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, if you haven't seen this screen before, this is an actual landing page of the event itself. And we've uh, kind of categorized things into different little sections within that a planning section, financial communications, clients, venues, vendors, and employees. But what we're truly focusing right now, now on is timeline. Now, this is not live yet. This is a preview that you're seeing on my local system. Um, this will uh, come live when we actually bundle the other two big options that we're throwing in here which is our WYSIWYG editor for things like contracts and um, uh, email dispatch, things of that nature, and also automation. We'll be having another preview on that when those are ready to, to show off. I wanna jump in here in premium. And right now this is actually tied into a wedding ceremony and reception um, uh, template that I've already applied at my uh, package level. So basically what will happen, and we'll dive a little bit more into the details of configuration at the end of this, is you basically, you know, you set the parameters of what your forms should look like, what your timeline should look like, and that is now applied to all the events that you are using that particular thing. And so like in this case of wedding ceremony reception, you'll see this laid out. One moment. <coughs> I said, tell you, outdoor weddings, it's a killer. So what we see in here right off the top of the bat, the gray areas are actually um, brought over from the proposal and the contract, the arrival time, the start time, and end time. That's already baked into the timeline. So we won't be you know, drastically changing those without also having things reflect into the contract. This is one big headache I know I've had over the years where you know, we've agreed upon a particular contract, but because of certain platforms having a, a timeline in a different area, they can just put in whatever values that they have. And sometimes, you know, shift it ahead, shift it behind. Sometimes they've extended it, um, sometimes by purpose, sometimes by mistake. So this helps to kind of keep that a bit more at bay. And you'll see in here that there's actual sections in here. I have a basic information, ceremony, cocktail, intro, dinner, toast, parent dances, dance, fun, and last dance. This is actually um, what I've been using as a, um, as a template for a very long time in other platforms. And I've been, you know, it's again, spread out where some of this information is one area, some of the information is in another area. This is now um, all combined into one. And I'm actually looking, I've got a little error coming up here on YouTube saying it's not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Let me know um, if my video looks like it's buffering too much or anything like that. Um, YouTube is always a little bit more, you know, on the drastic side when it comes to uh, bit rates and all that. Uh, so let me know. Um, this was originally set for Facebook bit rates. So let me know if my audio starts getting choppy or anything like that. Um, oh, I'm not sharing my screen. This is a terrible, terrible thing. Let's, and thank you. David for pointing that out. 
I gotta fix this for one quick second. The power of technology is always a little freaky. My apologize. I'm actually gonna back up super quick on that since I was talking to something that wasn't even on screen. This is the event details page. This is what you would land on on a typical event that you would have. You, know, you have everything from the step progress meter, a HUD of uh, basic information, and then below that, little sections of that are kind of rolled into a big section. This first big one here, this is one we're really gonna be talking about today is timeline. This is in the planning section. I'm gonna jump in. And as I said before, before I really did not share my screen on this, um, we have everything from an image of uh, the, the couple who's uh, participating in this. Why this doesn't exist in some other platforms is uh, beyond uh, my comprehension. But all this information that's pulled in, like arrival time, start time, end time, anything in the gray section, is actually pulled from the proposal and contract. So this way things don't get... Uh, drastically changed by accident or anything like that. It's already baked into the timeline. What you see here in the red section is what I have used as a template in this system. This is something I've actually built out. This is right now with all these fields that you'll see is actually gonna be available as a template if you wanna use it right out the gate. Now, one of the, the big things that I'm trying to build within Q is for those that don't have the time um, that want to kind of expand potentially what their you know, questionnaires are and their processes are and whatnot. I wanted to bring what I've used um, over the years as these questions and you know, this formula that I've created to hopefully bear um, you know, better fruit for um, these uh, professionals. Now, you can start with a completely um, a blank template if that's what you wish, um, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But this is actually the stock uh, wedding ceremony and reception template um, that you'll be able to use if you wish and yes there we are yes sorry david for not sharing my screen very very foolish of me so i'm going to go into the first section which is a basic information now i don't have this one as specifically time oriented uh, you can actually put a time in here if you really wanted to um, but the fact that um i'm not doing anything with it it does default to 12 a.m if you start to um, uh, to modify that I will, you know, I'll actually put in 2 p.m. just for the heck of it. P.m. So, um, and this is again, you can actually do these on all the panels inside of your timeline. You can modify the time as needed. Now, you'll see I have some basic question list three words that best describes you both. You know, what are your wedding colors? Expected guests additional information. Now, this is just general information that didn't specifically fit any particular milestone that I typically capture. So I want to kind of to, to funnel that in some um, some way in some location. And this is the easiest way to do that. Just want to show a real basic on this because I want to now jump into ceremony and uh, some of the information that's already here and kind of explain some of these bits. So, you know, there's locations and I've already put in things like, you know, it's on site at a same reception or in a different area or happens to be off site. If the ceremony is a religious or secular type ceremony, who's the music performed by? Is it by a DJ or somebody else? The type of microphones that are needed. And this is actually a multi-select tool. So let's say you're only doing the efficient. Voila, we just select efficient. Um, are they saying custom vowels? All these questions that I typically vet for my clients. Now, the real beauty of this is if there's additional questions that you want to ask um, that are, let's say, not part of the general template. Let's say you're talking to the couple and there's something very, very um, unique happening like... Um, I've actually already put a candle um, question in here. But let's just say they're doing a second candle piece or something like that. You can actually add a field and we'll just call this second candle for better lack of a term. And you can choose the type of fields that you want to use to capture this information. A single line text area, which the majority of these fields are that you see. Multi-line text area, which you see below here for additional information. That's a multi-line. There's an option list, again, that selection uh, list that you saw, a music picker, which we'll talk about big in here in a second, a five-star rating system, and a URL field. So let's just say we're going to just do a single line in here, and then I want to just drag second candle up to here. So all this is drag and droppable. 
This is now a dynamic form, so this does not affect my template at all. This is just now specific to this event. I've carried over the base information to bring in, but now if you have specific tweaks, you want to remove information, you want to add information, this is where it's, it is really at. So this really helps with, you know, when you have uh, specialized orders of things that happen. And not only can you do that with the questions, you can actually do that for each of these sections as well. So let's just say introductions didn't happen till after toast. Simply drag and drop and voila, you're there. The beauty of this also as well is each time you're typing, each time you're dragging and dropping um, information in here, it's automatically saving. So you don't have to worry about accidentally not saving something or better yet, the client uh, will have to worry about accidentally not saving something and losing information in here. Another big piece of this is the song request system. So I wanted to simplify this. You know, there's definitely different solutions out there from very, very complex and robust uh, solutions to some that are uh, not such an elegant solution, but you know, they've been out there for a very long time. This, I wanted to create something very simple, unique, and to the point. So as you see here, we have a song request um, system, and I have one, two, and three in here. And what we did, um, as part of the template, we added this music picker. And you can add more if, if we want to add, say, ceremony song request four. We've chosen music picker, and we're going to go ahead and sort that in here. Now, the beauty of this is we actually query a database to get the information. So it will sort uh, both first search and sort by um, name, uh, by the title of the song, and then the popularity of that. So, you know, all I want for Christmas is you is the second most popular of Mariah's uh, um, catalog, but we have Vision of Love and all that. You just simply click, boom, you're done. Now, if by chance there's a song in here uh, that is not, um, let's just say, God forbid, it's a Spotify, you know, only track and, you know, and then we have to figure our, our legal whereabouts of how to obtain those and whatnot. But let's just say even a genre, you know, let's just say the song request just happens to be, hey, you know, instead of I've already have classical here, but I'm just say I want more jazz or something like that. You just click that and it will still stay. So you don't have to necessarily select the song in there if there's something that is more uh, generic, if you will. Or let's say um, there's a remix, and for some reason the search didn't come up in here, you could easily just append to the title remix, and that will be conveyed to you. So lots and lots of flexibility. Again, I wanted to make this simple as possible. This works on mobile as well. I can't stress enough that um, Q from the get-go has always had this mentality of mobile first, mobile first, mobile first. You know, a major percentage of clients end up using this on a phone or tablet. And to be honest, uh, some DJs do. You know, they're on the road and they're trying to, you know, update information or whatnot. They need that mobile visibility. This is always created with that mobile idea. I've got a couple questions here I want to see. Um, we got uh, Tim here. Those questions are pre populated. Can you customize or templatize them? So, yes. We can absolutely templatize them, and I'll show you um, how to do that in just a moment. Uh, Vinny says, "I know the music field is populated, and use premium member and and use premium members will be able to customize the form." So, to make this perfectly clear, the this form is right now slated to be premium only. So, if you want to have this type of flexibility in your data collection uh, for your clients, this is something that is going to be a premium only feature. Um, drag and drop from uh, Big Tail oh, from Mark. Uh, very nice. Yeah, I wanted again to make this simple. And again, you can even drag and drop in mobile. It's a really nice thing. You just literally, you know, works as what you would expect. Um, Vinny says, Is there a conditional field that you can show and hide sections and questions if the client chooses yes or no? So that's actually uh, an enhancement that I do want to do in the future. I actually already put a long time ago uh, you know, some of these conditional. You know, checks, you know, there are, you know, perfect example. I have uh, a wedding coming up uh, this year that has some very specific elements that um, one of the couple is doing that they don't want the other part of the couple uh, to see. This comes down to a lot of, um, uh, you know, security level access. You know, they're called ACLs 
um, access level, you know, control level. This is something I'm definitely gearing towards. Um, it's not going to be out of the gate, um, and it still could be some time. You know, we have so much development between trying to, of course, get this done, some additional uh, DJ specifics that I really want to get out the door. But, you know, we want to start including all the other professionals as well. So we'll see how things kind of, um, you know, you know, the groundwork is laid out as things start to roll. Um, you know, we've been very happy with the, the pace of development so far. So it could very well be that these more granular levels that we would be able to, to select certain things, that you'll be able to do more dynamic forms, hidden forms, things of that nature. Um, let's see. So that's all the questions for now. Um, again, so again, simple, straightforward, to the point. Again, some of the fields that you have in here, you have the single line text field, the multi line text field, option lists, music pickers, the five star rating systems, well, I'll show you here in a second, and a URL field. Um, let's show you what the star um, system works, looks like and works. So this is, again, what I have used in the past as a general um, barometer essentially of what the couple likes and dislikes so one star hating it uh, five stars loving it and you know tolerating to really really liking and you know everything else in between and I've basically broken that down into the major um, genres and some of the subgenres. this definitely of course doesn't uh, cover everything um, I actually added a dubstep field in here just to kind of show that again you can add um, additional fields if you want and this is the kind of the beauty of it so let's say there is you know chill wave for instance so you got EDM and all that but let's say they're less EDM but they're more you know they want chill wave in it well you can now add that field in there Again, this is the flexibility that I wanted to you know, always build within a form like this. You know, you're not just regulated to what your initial template um, had. Uh, you know, I think the template should be the, your great jump off for every event, but every event could have something uh, extraordinarily custom. And rather than just putting that just in a you know, bucket of notes section in it, I always felt that having that Q&A, that dynamic Q&A was really critical. And we also have a must play, you know, a play if possible. You could add do not play if you want. Just threw a few random things in here. Again, the world is your oyster and the custom ability that you would want on this. You don't have to have the, the five star system if you don't want. You don't have to have, um, you know, some of these other sections. I just, this has been, again, my personal best practice that I've uh, tried to use over the years. And uh, this is what I brought to bear uh, for people if they do uh, want to see that. Make sure I don't have any more questions right now. Perfect. So let's get into the actual how you make all this. So there are a couple sections in here. Um, the biggest things we're going to be looking at is timelines and packages. So in timelines themselves, you'll see the custom timelines that you have uh, created. Um, you all you have to do is go in here and edit. I've made a super, super just to show that you can make something where I just took everything off of a ceremony um, template um, and then uh, kind of modified some stuff on my own. You just simply add the name of what you want to call it. Boom, it's saved. Um, I also did that as well for my timeline, which I think I added a couple different fields or something to that um, uh, basic information that I wanted to uh, throw in here. Again, you know, th this is the customization that I want people to have that ability to be able to do. In order to make something, we're gonna go in timelines here again, we'll add a timeline. Now, you can start again from scratch as you want, or you can jump off a base template or a template that you've created yourself and then roll off of that. So let's say, you know, I'm gonna throw ceremony in here. As you see, there's only the ceremony uh, panel that's in here, it shows you a preview of what the questions are gonna look like. You can select that if you want. You can choose not to if you uh, are willing to do that. But again, if you want to start from scratch, I'm just going to call this a scratch section. section, And just start adding your questions away. Who am I? Who's got the keys to my Bima? And yeah, that was terrible. But um, again, you can add those fields, single line, multi, option list, music pickers. You can also add a URL field. Um, this isn't fully fleshed out in my particular build, but the idea here is, you know, if they have a Spotify list, 
or something that they'll be able to uh, append that into the system and then it will just give you the link itself so that way they can jump in it if you don't like a particular question nix it right out don't like a particular section nix it right out that simple is that easy now once you've created you know, those templates that you want or if you just want to use the base templates that are in the system they're all attached to a package um, i have two particular packages in mine i'm going to go ahead and edit that and you'll see attach timeline form to package and each one that you see you can actually preview what's in there if you want to you know, see what's up and whatnot i'm going to go ahead and go back to ceremony and reception for this i am good with that and bam now you will see some submit and saves across um, uh, the platform we actually started to implement this um, you know constant save function within uh, timelines we want to deploy that throughout but that was something relatively new that we started to deploy if I'm not mistaken Vinny might have even mentioned something on that that uh, hey you know we need to be super modern people shouldn't have to hit save and you know what you're right so that's a route that we're going uh, with the platform so you'll see some of those saves functions eventually disappear because they'll just be automatically saving at that point that is about it for the timeline itself now we do have some additional features that are coming up um, that we will likely be doing a preview before we launch that includes automation um, and that is essentially keyed into both a, a few system uh, pieces there in here but also where you are in your progress meter. So if you go from lead to meet, maybe you want to send that email that has um, you know meeting instructions. If you want to integrate uh, you know a link to Calendly to say hey you know pick you know something on my busy calendar, you know that uh, would be available. If you want to be, dispatch your contract, you click contract. So each one of these clicks would be able to launch that. We can also set a time uh, for things that these uh, for them to automatically happen. So let's say you're in your proposal stage and you already sent the proposal out and you know three days seven days whatever your threshold is you want to send them a reminder of um you know that proposal you know, consider this essentially a drip campaign in that regard you'll be able to customize and set that now again we're going to already have a baseline um, that out of the box if you want to use that baseline already set the go Again, one of my big ideas with with Q is I wanted people to be able to just jump right in and start right off. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, these, you know, automation pieces that we're going to be throwing in, things like the timeline, all these pieces are easy enough for people to understand. And then ultimately, you know, when they do have the time, you know, they can make their custom templates, they can make their custom um you know automations and whatnot this is the route that we're trying to go and you know if you don't need it if the automations and the baselines of timelines and all that if they're what floats your boat have at it again i want to make this as simple as possible let's see <coughs> excuse me so um i don't know if anybody else has any other questions we're at almost about 7 30 here east coast time and again i apologize for having to switch over from Facebook over to uh, YouTube, um, mainly again because of Facebook's uh, drastic problems of yesterday. Uh, but I was actually planning to do a YouTube stream at some point anyway, so this was a perfect opportunity uh, to be able to do that. Um, from a timing perspective, we're looking at just a few weeks away from launching. I don't want to give an exact date yet. I will, of course, and once we do have something firm, I will announce that. Um, but as you see, timeline is already, you know, well formed. We've been testing the hell, the, the absolute hell of it for uh, a bit of time. Um, so that's in you know, it's pretty much completion stage. We might do some very very mild tweaks as things go on. Um, but now our focus is on the WYSIWYG editor uh, to be able to do things like editing your emails, editing your contracts, uh, things of that nature, and the automation piece itself. These are the three key things that we're going to be launching with premium um, when premium does go out the door um, you will actually have a small discount uh, for people who are going to be just doing the monthlies and yearlies and come launch time uh, our 450 dollars uh, offer 
for lifetime subscriptions that will be coming to an end. So if you've been sitting on the fence about if you wanted to jump in and um, you know participate in that lifetime program, this will definitely be the time uh, to, to start taking advantage because we're just talking you know, some just mere weeks before we um, you know, terminate that. I will, of course, give everybody a heads up uh, when that does happen. But, you know, now is the time if you've been, uh, you, know, you know, really contemplating it because it's not going to be available much longer. Um, do we have any other questions? Any other questions? I do know my YouTube studio acts from time to time, so I want to keep make sure that I'm not missing anybody at this juncture. Um, and any other questions as a whole of the platform itself, like where we're going, some of the other things, um, people can definitely uh, throw that in the questions as well. Um, but I really hope uh, that timeline, which is you know something I envisioned damn near about four years ago uh, when I was really trying to figure out the easiest way to, you know, collect that data and process that data, you know, what was the easiest way to do that. This combined idea is really where my mind was starting to set things. And, you know, I've been really glad that my two developers, um, you know, really have pulled through um, and made this an amazing, uh, you know, product uh, to this point. Vinny says he's in for a lifetime. So excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited on all this too. Um, so I'm going to probably be ending this off unless there's any other questions. You know, reach out to me again if you don't have a lifetime and are interested. Anybody that needs a little bit more of an in depth QA of the entire product, uh, definitely reach out for that. I'm always up for discussion on that. I do actually have a walkthrough as well of what's up there now for essentials. Um, you know, there's a whole ton of things uh, to cover. That's why I did um, some mini uh, videos for each one of those sections. In addition, we're actually about to push up another um, uh, nice little update for essentials. We have uh, some additional things like being able to set, you know, one-time venues. Um, yeah, I know uh, people even like myself go to private estates sometimes that are not a normal location and whatnot. So we'll have options like that. We're doing some additional uh, pieces to really kind of clean things up, make things quicker, of course, always doing uh, these things. Can't wait to dish my other platform. Can't wait for everybody to be able to do that. Now, um, just again, as a, um, you know, the, keeping you back your minds, again, we're looking in the just the next few weeks uh, to launch this. I'll be attending Wedding MBA in Las Vegas in November. Um, it's my full intention to ensure that we actually have a fully working um, premium product at that point because I want to be out there uh, walking the floor and you know, talking to people and saying, hey, you know, premiums now here. It's time to jump in. Naturally, as you know, if people want to adopt this, you know, especially if you're watching this video, um, you know, as a replay and whatnot, you know, if you do decide that you want to try out Q, if you do have questions, if you do need some uh, additional, um, you know, w what's down the pipeline and all that, reach out to me. You know, more than willing to you know, sit down and have a conversation with you. There's so much in store. No joke. There's literally years of development in the pipeline that I already have planned for this. My hope is with what Essentials has, uh, with it being free, of course, and all that, with features like venue intelligence that no platform out there will ever have. Even, again, the simple things like having an image of the couple so you remember what they look like. You know, it's just the simple things to make things a lot easier, being mobile friendly. You know, there's so many different things, and that's just the free side. And now being able to add these premium features you know, this has been a, a big milestone uh, for, you know, myself and everybody that's been working on this uh, to really have out the door and let everybody start sinking their teeth into. So I'm going to end this for tonight. Uh, we're about 7.33 East Coast time. Again, reach out to me if you have any questions. I hope everybody uh, survived uh, the great Facebook uh, outage of 2021. And uh, take care, everybody. Thank you.